Hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing things that you can do on your iPhone and you probably never knew about. These are hidden features and tricks that you can find on your iPhone running iOS 14 and they're actually pretty cool and most of them are actually very very useful as well. Now very useful thing is also the like button on this video. It helps this video do much much better so make sure you smash that like button. All right, starting things off with locations. As long as you have location services turned on, you can quickly share your location from your home screen with everyone on every app that you want. So all you gotta do is just 3D touch on the Maps app and then you will get a button here that says send my location. Now this will let you share your location on any platform you want or even copy a link to your location on the clipboard of your device. You just tap right here and you will get right here this pop-up. Basically, we'll have your location right there at the top and then you will have here messages, you have mail, notes, you have all your social media and you, of course, you can add more there by editing and you can also copy your location from here. And that, of course, will let you just go ahead and send your location to anyone you want via any app you want. On iOS, you know there is the old school feature, shake to undo, and it's pretty cool, of course, sometimes it's very useful. You basically shake your iPhone to undo anything you want, so let's just try it out here. You can undo, and sometimes you will do that actually by accident, instead of tapping on cancel, you will tap on undo. But did you know that after you have done that, you can actually shake again and redo. So if you have actually deleted something, using the undo button by mistake you can actually bring it back just by shaking your iphone again here's one from ios 15 now this is an extra one because of course you will need to have ios 15 and most people don't right now but it's really cool and i just thought i will share it with you guys so you know ios 15 has the drag and drop feature and if you take a screenshot on home screen or anywhere you can actually tap and hold the screenshot and open any app in this case i will open here the photos app and just release the screenshot on any album i want so as easy as that just drag and drop the screenshot anywhere you want did you know that your iphone will let you hear your heartbeat yes you can actually do that using your airpods so once you have your airpods connected to your iphone all you gotta do is just go to your control center and you will see this button right here make sure and 3d touch on it and tap here on live listen now what you need to do is just go ahead and push your iphone against your heart and that will let you hear your heart beat so of course you will hear it on your airpods basically this will pick up all the sounds from the microphones here and it's very sensitive so you will be able to actually hear your heart beat and if you don't see that listen button on the control center of your device, just head on to settings and go to control center and you should have it somewhere right here and just make sure you add it to the control center of your device. Now, of course, a very cool feature of iOS is back tap, double tap or triple tap to perform an action. And of course, can be enabled by going to touch here, go to back tap, and you will have both of those gestures. But anytime you're holding like your iPhone, like this way I'm holding it right now, I don't have to actually readjust the grip on my iPhone to make the double tap or triple tap gesture. All I gotta do is just tap right there on the side of the phone and you can see it will still work. You can actually do those same actions from the side of your iPhone. You don't have to tap on the back. A very useful feature can be found on your contacts cards. Now, of course, we all have those important contacts that we want to be able to have access to us every time they need, even though our device might be on mute. And you can do that by going to that contacts card, tap the edit button, and then go under ringtone. So here you can see it says ringtone, go right there, and you will have a button that says emergency bypass. Now you enable that, and this will allow basically sounds and vibrations from that person to come to your device, even though the ring switch is set to silent or you have do not disturb turned on. So it will basically bypass everything and you will still get notifications, basically rings and sounds from this contact. Of course, that might be very important to you. Now this probably has happened to most of us by accident turning on the flashlight on your device. So from the lock screen you can easily tap here and you will by accident turn on the flashlight. You don't have to actually just like 
search for the button or bring down the control center to turn it off all you gotta do is just slide here to enable the camera you know if you swipe here you can go ahead and go to the camera on ios but in this case you can use that to actually turn on the flat turn off the flashlight real quick so you can see you just swipe a little like that and the flashlight will be turned off your iOS device will let you take a screenshot of a whole web page. So you take the screenshot, go here, and then go to full page. Did you know that you can actually crop this? So if you don't want the actual full page here, you can just tap right there that button. And it will let you actually crop this any way you like. So let's say I want just the three, the first three pages right there. I can crop it like this and tap the dumb button. And now we have that crop just like that. You can see how cool that is. You don't have to actually get the whole page. If you don't need it, you can crop it any way you like. On the mail app and this will apply to basically every app on ios like imessage notes any app that has basically lists like this you can of course select quickly by just swiping with two fingers like this so swipe up or swipe down and you will start selecting right away you don't have to tap the edit button and then go select them one by one just swipe with two fingers like this now the cool thing is that if you start swiping from the bottom here you can actually just tap the status bar right there at the top so let me just try to do this and you can see it will take you right to the top and will basically select everything on that page so that's a very easy and quick way to select messages emails even notes anywhere there are lists like this you can do that by just using two fingers on ios 14 you can add the notes widget to the home screen of your device now if you go to the notes widgets panel you will find here one that says note and if you add that to the home screen you will be able to actually add like display any note you want on this widget all you gotta do is just really touch on it and tap on edit widget and you can go ahead and from here pick any note that you have saved on your notes app and display it right here on the widget now the cool thing is that you can have multiple of these and of course have different notes being displayed on them so if you need to have something right here on the home screen a note that you actually need you can have a few of these basically simply by adding a few of these widgets and selecting the note that you want to see when you open the camera app on the photo section here you can of course take a picture you can tap and hold here to start recording and you can lock here of course to continue recording but did you know that you can actually simply press and hold here volume down and it will right away start recording a video so once you're done recording of course you will have to hold the finger here to keep recording once you're done just release the finger and the video is top so just like that you can quickly take a video using the camera app so that is it for this video guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned some new tricks on your ios device today thank you guys for watching again and i will see you on the next one